the shortest world that I'm a titan Hit him up with syllables inside this verse that can be tightened My goals flows got an ego and the truth I spit just frightens The world will admire my truth that when it does I'll be the best man This world needs a hero down here on What's Grand going on YouTube? It is the big K Cops 360 here and we've got some really big news concerning AMD's new GPUs which are supposed to be coming out at the start or uh, around Q1, Q2 of next year and of course that is the new Arctic Island series of GPUs otherwise known as the R9, R7, 400 series. Now of course um, KitGuru.com has reported that AMD is readying the Greenland GPU which is going to be the flagship uh, Baffin which is going to be for like the uh, Baffin sorry Baffin and Ellesmere which are going to be for the high end and the kind of mainstream kind of you know segment market segment so AMD is preparing three big GPUs. Now let's get straight into Greenland in specific because that is the big boy. Now of course, as I said before, it's going to be the flagship. And Mark Papermaster, who's the Chief Technological Officer at AMD, is pretty much calling out and saying that, look, this new generation, this new iteration of GCN is going to have 2x the power efficiency of the current GCN architecture. And as you guys know, Arctic Islands and the Greenland GPU and Baffin and Ellesmith for all we know is going to be based on the 14 or 16 nanometer FinFET process, which pretty much will mean that we're going to be seeing more stream processors fitting onto the card, onto the chips. Now, of course, uh, that could vary because I guess it depends on how powerful each SP is. So I know it really depends. But continuing on, these cards, or at least the Greenland at the very least, will have HBM2. Now HBM2 is going to allow up to 32 gigabytes of VRAM on one card and up to one terabyte a second of memory bandwidth. That is absolutely insane guys. That is some really, really good shit. So of course, um, in reality, we're going to be seeing around 8 to 16 gigs of memory for the Greenland chip. I mean, let's let's be honest. They're not going to fucking then release a mainstream card with 32 gigabytes of VRAM. That's probably going to go into you know the workstation kind of stuff. But yeah, look, continuing on, uh, Kit Guru, Kit Guru, sorry, or the source that informed Kit Guru stresses that both of the GPUs, being Baffin and Ellesmere, will be brand new, and they are also designed from scratch. They are not some kind of, you know, little brother of Tonga, of Hawaii, of you know anything. It's completely new. All of these cards are new, which is very, very good. So look, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And look, tell me what you think. Are you excited for these new cards? Because when Fury and Fury X came out, I don't know, there was a bit of disappointment, I guess, because the cards weren't, I guess, cheap enough. Or, I, I don't know, not many people liked the Fury and the Fury X for some reasons, which were justifiable. But, you know, look, I guess we're just going to have to see what happens. So, look, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And, uh, big gay, we'll see you later.